Hi everyone, tonight we are going to be making muffin tin corn dogs. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you everything that we're going to need to get out. Um, you're gonna need a bowl for mixing. We are going to need your muffin tin, the muffin liners, your box of cornbread mix, and I will say um, the recipe, or sorry, the ingredients that I sent you earlier in the week, it called for two boxes. However, there was only enough at Hannaford to get us one. So if you decide to make this recipe again, you can very easily um, just buy two and double the ingredients because we're still following the directions on the side of the box. Um, we're still doing one box of corn mix, one egg, and a third a cup of milk. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then I have sent you all a pack of hot dogs. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, First things first, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. We want that going now so that it's ready to go when we get started. Next step, we are going to want to line these. Um, one box of the mix, we're gonna pour a little bit less because the hot dogs, once we add them, are going to take less space. So I'm gonna see if I can get nine little cuppies out of one box of mix. We're gonna open our Jiffy Mix. Maybe if I wouldn't struggle so much. There we go. Pour that right into our bowl. And it is helpful when you are using Jiffy Mix. I don't know if you've used this very often. Um, it is helpful to use a whisk. It can be wire or rubber, doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna grab my milk and my egg. just need to crack my egg a special way because I'm working on a little project with my after school program students that are in the Thursday club so I'm trying to salvage my my eggs so I just need to rinse that out So we have one egg cracked into our mix. Next up, we need one third of a cup of milk. And again, if you make this recipe again and you decide to double the recipe like it would have originally been, um, you're gonna use two thirds a cup of milk and two eggs, okay? So I'm using, you will be using dairy milk, cow's milk. I have almond milk on hand. I don't have any cow's milk in the fridge. So I'm just gonna go with it. Whisk. And with cornbread mix, you don't wanna whisk until all of the lumps are gone. We're not blending it to the point where it's like super crazy, no lumps. It's okay if there are lumps in your cornbread mix. I'll show you what this looks like in just a sec. So if you look in there, see how there's still some chunks in there? It's perfectly okay. So I feel good about that. My next step now, I'm gonna grab a knife. And we are gonna chop our hot dogs, okay? However you wanna open this, it's A-okay. Grab one out, there's one hot dog. And you don't wanna make the chunks super big because these muffins are small. So see how thin my slice is? So 
So there we are. And again, if you want to have a lot of hot dogs, oops, if you want to have a lot of hot dogs in your mix, that's perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to just chop up a couple more for myself and then we'll get back to it. Okay, I just got my second hot dog chopped. So what I'm going to do, you can do this one of um, two ways. You can either add the hot dogs to the mix or you can um, pour the mix just as corn muffin mix and then add the hot dogs to each individual muffin. Um, so I'm gonna do that way just so I know that um, I'll have an even amount of hot dog in my muffin mix. So what I'm gonna do you want to go for about halfway since we're adding the hot dogs, okay? And if it helps you to use a spoon, you can absolutely grab a spoon to scoop instead. I might only be able to get away with eight, we'll see. Yep, so eight it is for me. So I'm just gonna take away my last little muffin liner right there. And I'm gonna take these I'm gonna put probably four slices into each of my muffin mixes. And then if you have extra, you can choose add a few more. This one's particularly full, so I'm going to add a fifth one to this one. And this last one looks like it only gets two. So if you have a situation like that where you run out, you can chop up more hot dog or you can leave it with just the two, that is okay. And now my oven is about 10 degrees away from being ready. So these are gonna go in the oven next and then we're gonna do it for eight to 10 minutes. You're gonna wanna watch it. Um, if they start to get super brown on top, that's where you're going to wanna pull them out at eight minutes. Um, but you might need 10 and some people like more of a well done texture. Um, it all is kind of personal preference. So at that eight minute mark, you want to check them. Um, and then you can make that judgment call there. If they look like typically corn muffin mix, you want to take it out when it's golden on top. Um, and with the hot dogs, it might take, um, some of that color away because the hot dogs are coming out of the top. Um, so eight to 10 minutes should be good. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and pop these in and when the timer is ready, I will be back and we'll pull them out and see what they look like. Okay, so these are fresh out of the oven. And I will tell you, I ended up having to do, I checked them at eight, didn't look good. Checked them at 10, didn't look good. So I added on two more minutes. I cooked mine for a total of 12 minutes and that's for eight muffins. So you wanna make sure that you can insert a knife and that it's not coming out all, you know, um, with a lot of the dough on it. So test one of these bad boys. Be very careful when you're pulling them out. I don't want you to burn yourself. I shouldn't have, <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that to show you as an example. That was not a good example. So we're gonna cut into this bad boy and see how it came out. Very, very hot, but all done on the inside and the hot dogs got nice and cooked that were exposed on the top. So I think these are gonna be really, really tasty. We're gonna let them cool 
And one thing you can do um, as well, if you leave things in the muffin tin um, after they're done cooking, they continue to cook a little bit on the bottom. So I would give them a few minutes just to cool down and then you can pull them out and enjoy. We will have another cooking club that starts, uh, we'll start back in again after next week because it's spring break. So that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful break and um, enjoy your muffins. If you take photos of them, send them on to me. Um, I would love to see them. Okay, have a good one.